Coming up on Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House, we're going to propagate to increase the plant numbers in your Eco Garden House, as well as a unique way to get higher germination rates on your carrots. All that right now. Sponsored by Eco Garden House. At last, an indoor greenhouse equipped with complete easy lighting and watering systems. You can grow perfect organic produce and plants at your home all year round. Grow 24-7, 365. You now have no excuses. Welcome to Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House. I'm Joy Baird. One way to increase or multiply the plants in your Eco Garden House is by propagation. Now you can do this with a variety of different plants. Tomatoes, eggplants being two of them. You can also do that with, you can do the propagation with two additional, three additional plants that we've got here. One is a pepper. Now pepper plants can be propagated just like you would a tomato plant by taking a stalk and putting it in submerged water. And then the then roots will begin to form at the base and then will begin to put foliage on or put leaf structure on. This may take some time and I've done that with that stock. These came off of our uh, tequila sunrise pepper that we've overwintered and in the overwintering process we have got two baby tomato plants that have started to grow so we'll figure out what we're going to do with that. Also Another way, and this is another stalk that I have that's propagating from that Tequila Sunrise, we'll just let it set, and a way you can tell that it's still good is just by squeezing it. If it's a sponge and slimy, you, it's not going to work. This is still firm and solid, and, the, uh, and there should be roots that begin to develop in a couple of weeks, if not sooner than that. Two other plants that are in our Eco Garden House in which we can do this with is Sweet Potato Vine. And I have propagated this and you can get it with the uh, le le leaves on it which is more beneficial because it's going to take a lot of energy to put leaves on but you can see here in just a few days I just took a snipping off of the one that was climbing up the side and you can see the roots already beginning beginning to develop and also we can do this with basil and you can see the basil here though the top is not looking good at all you can propagate and you can see the roots begin to develop off the, the stalk of the basil. Now with any of these, you want to have a lot of stalk and you want to give it time and you want to give it light and the proper amount of you know, heat and warmth in order to grow. Sometimes these will root very easily, other times they will not. But the benefit to doing this is having a plant that is already developed at this stage compared to starting out with a little seed and waiting for that plant to get to this stage to begin putting foliage on. So you can propagate your tomatoes, your peppers, your eggplants, your peppers, uh, basil, and there's some other ones that are very easy to propagate as well. But this is a way to expand or continue to create more plants in your eco garden house. So we pro so we propagated the peppers, the sweet potatoes, as well as the basil. Now with the basil, you can see here, let's see right here, you can see roots de de beginning to develop there. And that's simply because it was in a very moist environment here, based on what your thermostat is set on and how much air you're pumping through. And that tomatoes will do the same thing. They'll put roots on anywhere where there's a very moist area, trying to get to soil. So that's totally normal. Basil is going to be the very really easy to pop propagate. Tomatoes are going to be really pro easy to propagate, just like we do the sweet potatoes. Uh, that's going to be very easy. The tough portion is going to be that pepper plant because it's an older stalk. You really want to work with a very new tender growth and that's got some very old growth on it so we'll see how that works when it comes to propagation to expand your eco garden house growing plants and not have to start them from seed. Okay so we're going to plant carrots in our raised bed here. Now you can do this in a container and a grow bag whatever you choose. The thing you want to keep in mind is one the depth in which you are planting in and two the variety of carrots in which you're going to plant. And I'll give you some examples here. These are long carrots. These will get eight, nine, 12 inches in length. So this bed, this one wouldn't be ideal. Now they'll grow until they hit a, 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 the bottom and they'll stop growing. 
so it'll you know shorten your carrot size. Now here's another one. These are about the size of ping pong balls. They get round. They don't get long. So if you're in thin soil or in a shallow container, that might be the variety in which will work best for you. But we're going to plant just regular red, uh, yellow carrots here. These are a, uh, a red carrot. And you can see the seeds are very, very tiny. And they do have some chance of poor, uh, poor germination. And the reason being is when you plant your carrot seed, you want the water to uh, be absorbed into the seed, but also you want soil on top of that seed. And with the seed so small, you just want a dusting of soil or compost or potting mix on top of your seeds in order to germinate them to get them established. So what we are going to do is a trick in which will help increase the germination rate. Now the mirror has no production whatsoever, it has nothing to do with the growth or the operation of the Eco Garden house. It's simply so you can see more of what I'm doing as if you were in front of me. So we're going to take, and this is where our irrigation was at. We'll hook the irrigation or re, uh, we put the irrigation back in, but you can see the soil is on the drier side. So what we will do is first we want to hydrate the area in which we are going to plant. And I just got an old powdered powder bottle here. Cleaned it out, the, pop, the cap pops on and off. So I want to get this hydrated fairly well and let, let it absorb in there. And then what we can do is you're wanting to plant your seeds about an inch apart. Now with the seeds that we're planting, again, incredibly tiny seeds, you're gonna be able to space them perfectly. There are different devices on the market, such as they're called seed tape, where it's already impermeated into a biodegradable, basically toilet paper type of material. You just roll out and, and cover up, and that's all you have to do. But they then can be expensive. So we've got this fairly hydrated here. Add a little bit more water to it because we want a good base and that's with anything you want the soil to be relatively moist prior to planting because we will water once we get done but this will help ensure a better a better uh, seed water moisture consistency okay so you want to just do a little drill or a trench you can do it with your finger or a trowel here you want to just Barely about eighth of an inch would be ideal. So we'll get these out here. And I'm going to overseed to get a better opportunity to get good germination. And these seeds are very small. And what we'll do is we're just going to pinch and try to drag. And the one inch spacing clearly is not going to work as well as I'd hoped it would be. So I'm just going to overseed. And overseeding simply means. <clears throat> planting four or five, six times more seeds in an area where one seed should be to ensure at least something will germinate. And then we can always go back as these begin to grow and simply pluck out the ones in which we are, they're too close together. Now you can eat the tops of the carrots. Those are edible as well as the roots. So you can keep that in mind. Now that we've got that planted, I'm just gonna drag a little soil over top of it. You can mark your row with a, some type of marker. Right now I'm just going to take the irrigation clip just so I know on both ends here where this row is at. I'm going to hydrate it again and then we will put a board on top of it. And I'll explain why we're doing that. Just any type of board. You could even do a piece of plastic, but we're just gonna put a board over top of it and make sure that all the edges are covered over, covered on the sides here. Now what the purpose of this board is, and you can use any type of device. If you're in a container, you can use a plate or a piece of dark uh, plastic or anything, be creative. What we're doing here, the seeds are very small. You're putting a very minute amount of soil on top of the seeds. That soil dries out very, very quickly and typically in some applications, it doesn't allow the seed to acquire the moisture that is needed for it to begin to germinate. So what the board is acting as 
is simply a moisture retention device. And this is not going to hurt the seed at all. Carrot seeds can take up to about 14 to 21 days to germinate. So what you'll do here is mark your calendar, come back in about a week, well, come back in, in two or three days, check underneath it, make sure everything's still hydrated and wet, and then put the board back. After the, after the period goes, you know, 14, 21 days, you'll start checking it daily and you'll be able to begin to see little green sprouts emerge. When you see that, you can go ahead and remove the board if you forget to check it a day or two, it's not going to hurt the plant. It's not going to hurt the seedling because the seedling is still going to have the understanding that it's dark under this board, it's still in soil, and it's still trying to grow out of the soil, it's just like if the seed was planted far too deep. But once the seed uh, the seeds begin to emerge, then you can remove your board, water, make sure it stays watered, and that will increase the germination rate of the carrots in which you're planting. And if you're doing it in a container, you can simply just cover it with some type of device that's going to keep it dark and keep the moisture in and keep it from drying out uh, as quickly. So I'm just going to remove the board here, hydrate this one more time, be sure it's good and hydrated. And this will take a while, seven, seven, uh, 14, 21 days, is not unlikely, uncommon for carrot seeds to germinate. Thanks for joining me. Join me again next time as we grow more in the Eco Garden House. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.